In a world of new school gaming, Ydam L2P presents the old school gamer. In a very meticulous hey fashion. everybody, this is Clay, the old school gamer here with Conjure 77. That's why he covers their faces we with are mud, one to make step anonymous. closer. Catching why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're right, more of an really image, a symbol. A that's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize what for what he's doing? done. Oh, you're switching the slides? Is that what very you're doing? Very interesting. Yes. And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. Uh, One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square mile. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Oh, yeah, it may not aggressive. give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. So what's next? All ears and one power There glove. are two suspects whose psychological profile <laughs> might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Oh yeah, go Blake, for him. I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! What, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. You have a chance to punch him. Don't, don't do it. Your vast experience hasn't prevented <laughs> victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Oh, is this where we start questioning the 10,000 people? Yeah, we have to go all door to door. No door. answer. <laughs> we waste our time coming All here. day long. On like clown. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I like it. I'm not sure that's entirely <laughs> legal. Like who? The, good, the, the cop with the power Call glove the or that cop? That cop. The other cop? Yeah. I thought you just said the whole time how you didn't like him because he was a punk. No, I, I like him. Oh. Yeah. You like him because he is a punk. Holy. Literally. <laughs> Holy Looks room. Looks like Nathaniel Holy Williams room. is a pretty religious guy. <laughs> He's a God-fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. 
had this idea in his sick little head that Check I was the, the anti uh, behind you there. Come another. to Earth to persecute him. There you go, down. Real twist. It's like a rosary. Rosary and a Bible and a glass of milk. Hmm. I swear to God, if he runs into that table one more time. Oh! Okay. There's a. Is that the. That's, we, no, that's the wander room, isn't it? That camera angle does change a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, in tight spaces like this, it's kind of a. Oh, oh. What are we looking for now? Let's just kick another door down. I mean, he's inside the house, right? Why did he kick that door? I don't know. <laughs> would he just, lock just himself out? <laughs> lock himself in the back. Yeah, lock himself. <laughs> Turn the door knob, buddy. <laughs> Just because the door closed doesn't <laughs> mean it's locked. <laughs> That's interesting. I never, never thought about that. Okay. Huh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> the windows closed. You know what? Crack. Let's go in here. So <laughs> something on the table. Kitchen doors closed. Crack. I need to open the refrigerator. Get a drink. Crack. Sorry. Can you open the car door for me? Crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's unlocked. No. Let me kick it open. That looked like something you could do. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> or walk into the room, see all the crosses over. Jesus. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? In the to be corner of the room, he's there. standing there going, yes. <laughs> okay. I think we've seen all we need to see here. All right. No, we don't. Somebody's home. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh, Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. <laughs> yep. I'm sure he's Nathaniel, innocent. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You must let it right here. It. All right. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them, to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the no, son don't of intervene. Satan. He was sent to work to destroy us. If it gives you another choice, just let it ride out and see Christ what happens. Christ's sakes, shoot!
I. Did you do it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I shot him. I just wanted to see if he'd shoot the other guy. Yep. <clears throat> Looks like you did. Oh well. <laughs> Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I remember last time he went through his whole speech as he was holding the gun, speaking more um, Bible verses and and. Right. Yeah, just just going on and on and ranting about the Antichrist. And never shot the other the, the guy in the world, and they eventually I shot him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, that works. Thanks for yeah ruining that for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, all right, hey, blunder. Wonder. All right, let's pause it here, and uh, we will be back. For wait, the wait, next wait! Hang step. on a second. How many inches of rain? Did that say? Hang on. Uh, one point nine. Okay. One point nine zero four. Okay. All right. We will, and it's got to be six inches. So we're in a race. We got five inches to go. That's what she said. All right. I'll be back. We will be back. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Heavy Rain. If so, I wanted to encourage you all to check out the playlist on my channel. There you're going to find a large variety of games that I've covered, such as Gears of War 3, Uncharted 3, Batman Arkham City, Dead Space 1 and 2, Alan Wake, Mass Effect 3, as well as many, many more. Also, guys, if you're looking for just some great commentaries, I'd encourage you all to check out VidThru's YouTube channel. There you're going to have some great directors with a large variety of commentaries to choose from and they're updated daily also if you're looking for some more playthroughs be sure to check out tour to force i post playthroughs there as well as some other great directors from the vid through team anyway guys thanks for watching until the next time and this is the old school gamer i'm out peace